Today we're going to take a look at how to sort records in Microsoft Excel. Uh, you'll see that I have some data already on a spreadsheet. And let's take a look at how to put this in any order we would like it to be in. Uh, to begin with, I would like you to familiarize yourself with whatever data you're working with. In my case, I'm dealing with uh, MCU films, which is uh, something that I enjoy. And as you read across, uh, the film, the U.S. release date, the director, the Rotten Tomato rating, and the box office gross in millions. Uh, all those items reading across do go together. So you definitely do not want to mix those up as we are sorting. So to begin with, we're going to select all of our data. So I'm going to select from cell A3 down through E26. This is going to be crucial. So when we sort, it does know what uh, data to keep together. Uh, we go up to the ribbon, and we're going to leave the home section of the ribbon, and we're going to go to data. In the data section, you will see that there's this whole section here on sort and filter. We can click sort ascending, sort descending, and that would sort by wherever our selection is. Our selection is in cell A3, so it would sort according to the A column. Let's see what that would look like. All right, so that's sorted and it put our movies in ABC order by their title. And if that's what you wanted, then that's very helpful. But that's not always what we want. Maybe we want to rank our movies according to Rotten Tomato rating or how much money did it gross, in which case sort ascending or sort descending will be enough. We need to go to custom sort. When I click custom sort, I get the custom sort dialog box, which will give us some more control over what we choose. Now it's asking us, does my data have headers? That's an important thing to realize. That's going to read the top row of my data. And if I pick my data has headers, I'm going to see when it asks to sort by the name of my header row. Uh, if I don't pick that, you'll notice instead it's asking column A, B, C, D, E. And when it sorts, it's going to sort my headers into the data as though they were simply data entries. So make sure that is checked if you do in fact have data headers. Next, you can pick the column that you want to sort by. So if I want to sort by Rotten Tomato rating, I pick that. And then I can decide whether I want to go from top to bottom or bottom to top. And I click OK. And that gives me uh, my movies from uh, the one that the Rotten Tomatoes liked the best down to the ones that it did the worst. Or we could do the same kind of thing according to uh, box office gross to see which movie made the most money. And it was Endgame followed by Infinity War and The Avengers. Now, on a couple occasions, you're going to find that there is more than one uh, entry that is the same. And in which case... Uh, how do you want it to sort? For example, let's say I'm sorting by director. I noticed that the Russo brothers directed two films. Whedon directed uh, two films. So what is the correct order to put them in in that case? In that case, we want to do a two-tiered sort. So if I'm going to sort by director. But I know that uh, a director will appear on my list more than once. If that's the case, we need a second tier to our sort. So I'm going to come over here where it says add. I'm going to add a second tier. Now, this is only going to come into play when I've got two items on my list that are the same. And if they're the same, how do they need to then be sorted? In which case, I could pick a second criteria like maybe release date or Rotten Tomatoes rating. What this is going to do is it's going to put them in alphabetical order by the directors. And then if any two are by the same director, it will then do by release date. So in that sense, it alphabetized them, uh, well, from Z to A. I could have switched that. Uh, but the ones that you saw um, directed more than one movie, it then sorted them by release date. And that is how to sort um, records in Microsoft Excel.